It's true that I've called you a thousand times to come stay with me when I'm crying in my room after all. Hey everyone, it's Kylan, and today I'm going to be doing my April favorites for you guys. And I didn't shut the door. I should go do that. I actually have quite a few favorites due to the fact that I missed my favorites video last month. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in so this video doesn't take 15 minutes. Before I go. So I'm going to start out with my um, dry shampoo. And this is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. So that's kind of a handful name. But that's what it is. Basically, it looks like this, and it smells really, really good, and this is the best dry shampoo that I've come across so far. It makes my hair look way more, I guess, kind of refresh and new than any other dry shampoo that I've ever used, so I really, really, really recommend this. If you It's true that I've called you a thousand... So the first one is Mint Candy Apple by Essie. And it's just a really, really gorgeous mint green color. I don't know if this camera is going to really pick up on the color, but it's just gorgeous. And I do really, really like this color. And this was the color I wore for the majority of the month. You would stay with me, stay with me. Hey, I would so this is the second nail polish. This is Lacy Lilac by Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color. And it's just the prettiest lilac color. It pretty much matches the walls of this room. I actually got chevron nails using this color. So those are the two major nail polishes that I've been using this month. Okay, so the first eye product that I'm going to show you guys is actually a brow pencil. Now, I filled them in today to kind of give you guys an idea of kind of the effect that it has on um, kind of shaping your face. But this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, and this is in the shade Medium Ash. They have these thin ones and then the thicker ones, but these are the ones that are most like acclaimed, I guess. I um, mentioned that I was kind of scared that it was going to be too dark for me, but it's actually not, so that's great. And it has a little spoolie on the other side, so I've been using this to fill in my brows, and it is great. With me, go with me. I tried. The next thing that I've been using nonstop this month is this Stila eyeliner. And I mentioned this, if you guys watch, have been watching my channel for a while, then you know that this is kind of one of those products that I am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with. And I rave about it. But this is the Stila Say All Day, and the writing is worn off. This is my second um, pen, I guess. But I have used these bad boys until they die. The first one is really old, and I still have it, and the writing has also worn off on this. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, and it's pretty much just the little uh, kind of genie tube, and I love this. It kind of just gives a really pretty kind of champagne-y color over the lids, and I really have been liking this this month. The poison from sinking in, you know I did, and you... The second thing is fairly new, but this is the Vintage... Selection paint pot by Mac and it's just a really pretty kind of kind of a coppery Champagne color. It's very similar to sin. I'm actually wearing it today under my eyeshadows The concealer that I've been using this month is the Mac uh, Select moisture cover concealer and I was using the Maybelline Fit me, which you guys know that I rave about quite a bit, but it's become kind of dark for me because I kind of have been dwindling back and forth between being tan and being pale this month. So I have been using this for my lighter days. I'm in the shade NC20 for this. So the 
Eyeshadows that I've been loving are the Revlon Photo Ready Eyeshadows in the shade Metropolitan or 501. These are what it looks like. They're just such, such gorgeous colors. The two ones that I've been absolutely loving are the champagne one at the bottom and the brown one at the top, the dark brown one. And I basically have been using this every, every single day. They're really pigmented and I love it. And on the back it kind of gives you directions on where to put it as well. These two lip products that I'm going to show you guys are the Stila Say All Day Liquid Lipstick, which I'm wearing right now, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips. And this is in, uh, I'll show you guys the name. So that's the name. And then this, it looks like this. It's just a hot, hot pink color, and I'm absolutely obsessed. And it's pretty much, I didn't know that it was gonna be this type of texture but I do really love the texture so I love this product that I've been loving is the Buxom lipstick in Swinger and it's just a really gorgeous kind of magenta-y pink color it's quite different from this one it's more purpley I would say so yeah I have been loving that I forgot to mention the Colossal Mascara that you guys know is one of my Holy Grail products as well. I use this mascara every single day, but it is running out, so that's kind of sad to me, but, you know, it happens. And I might need to go buy a new one after I film this video. So the highlighter that I've been obsessed with recently that's really, I'm going to say obsessed like a million times in this video, but it's really just given me a very kind of brighter complexion and I've been loving that type of look for um, the springy, summery months. It is scary weather outside right now and I don't like it. Ugh. It kind of looks like nail polish, but I promise you that it isn't or I wouldn't put it on my face, but I put this on the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose and also on my cubist bow and that just gives me kind of a more luminescent, more awake look. You can also put it on your brow bone as a brow bone highlight, but I don't do that, so yeah. Could never really read it out loud, but before you forget me. The bronzer I've been using all month is the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer by Tarte. It's pretty much your standard um, bronzer. It has a little bit of shimmers in it, so if you're not a fan of shimmers, I wouldn't suggest this. But yeah, it just gives a nice kind of contoured look, but it's not too harsh. The powder that I've been using to set my face the entire month is something that you may have seen from when I first, first made videos and it looks like this. It is the shade 2 Translucent Light um, and it's pretty pale but it pretty much doesn't show up on your skin so it's just a very translucent color and I've been loving this because it's kind of mineralized so it doesn't, it doesn't make you look cakey. So I like that a lot. The blush that I've been using this month, every single day, literally, this has just stayed in my makeup bag and has not moved. This is the Benefit Coralisa Blush, Box Blush. It looks like this. It's pretty much a very, very talked about product here on YouTube and it's just a corally blush color and I really like it. And it's got a little bit of gold kind of shimmering. It's very similar to Orgasm Blush by NARS, but it's a little bit more everyday, I guess you could say. And I love the packaging. It's super cool, and the name is just great. So, yeah, I definitely suggest that. Those are all my favorites. I hope you guys like this video. And if you want to see, I'm thinking about doing a Draw My Life, so please comment down below if you would like to see that. Also, if you want to see my favorites for kind of music related, um, I guess kind of books, anything kind of non-beauty related, then comment down below or like this video 
channel. So comment down below and let me know what you think about those two video ideas. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.